welcome back to my channel my beautiful souls lovely to see you here again if you're returning and welcome if you are new i am katie rose and if you like my videos if you'd like to know when new videos are being released please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell um i hope you've had a good week i have had a rough ass week <laughs> i was in bed pretty much all of last week um, but I'm feeling much better now and that is great but it's the energies of the month that are just really taking hold especially for me personally I've been feeling it um, and if you want to find out your energy of the month you can find that in the description below there is a September predictions uh, video there for you also if you sign up to my email list you get a free monthly energy reading as well directed to your inbox um, so feel free to sign up for that as well you'll find that link in the description as well and like i say those energies are hitting me i'm feeling it so i'm hoping that all of you have had a good time a good week last week if not know that there is some form of lesson learning need rest whatever that was was needed for you and trusting in that so let's dive in so we have three piles as always and what i want you to do is just settle down just take a moment of calm of peace you might want to close your eyes if not leave them open whatever feels right for you and just allow your body to settle taking some deep breaths Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just feeling your body relax as you start to hear that inner voice appear. And then when you're ready, allow yourself to look at the three piles. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. And just trust in that first feeling, sense, knowing, whatever it is for you. And trust that that is the pile for you. And then you can find the timestamp in the description below to take you directly to your pile. Welcome, pile one, to your weekly reading. You have home. Oh, I love this lady. You have Isis. Yes. <clears throat> uh, you have Relax. And you also have the Heart Guardian. So this is quite interesting because these energies are like strong but at the same time gentle. So that's quite interesting. So I'm, in, I'm, I'm, oh, I want to, let's dive in. Let's dive in. Okay then, my love. So first of all, I want to come to Isis. I feel it. Feel it. I'm feeling quite drawn to her. So what she says is magic manifesting and you have your dreams, visions and goals are becoming reality. So stay focused. And I'm really drawn to that stay focused for you guys this week. So this is really trusting in yourself, allowing yourself to know what you're wanting and what you're wanting to go after. I'm also really drawn to the reds in this card. So I don't know how well you can see the reds here, and it's brighter to me than what it is on your screen and what I get here is that there's some fears that have been holding you back and we've also got the red here so there's a lot of sort of root chakra work that comes up here staying grounded really connecting with yourself trusting in yourself feeling secure in who you are and then as you come into this sort of heart guardian here, you're really being called into your heart space, which it feels so connected with Isis here. Isis is just such a beautiful, powerful, um, and she is the kind of like your guide this week, it feels like. I feel like she's here to empower you this week. There is some sort of, knowledge that may come to you this week that you um, when I say knowledge it can be like information uh, maybe you have been waiting for some information it feels like this is coming up this week so don't be surprised if you start seeing things happen this week but there's also this heart um, guardian so it's love and let yourself be loved which connects with this card of the relax as well so it's just all sort of connected weaves together so beautifully so the heart guardian here, I feel like there is this sort of need to, to, to rest, which comes up with this relaxed card as well. Um, so there is this need to look inwards, 
Um, I also kind of want to say, so this here, this rose is like, I want to put roses in the back. So when it comes to this relaxed card here, it's like these are paired so beautifully together. And don't be surprised that if you're in the back you, is when you get some clarity and you, you have that sort of ISIS can come through, that information that you've been waiting for can come through. Because for some of you, it will be information you need from within, from your heart. But there will be also some of you that will be receiving information that comes from outside, like a letter, I feel like, something coming in the post, something you've been waiting for on an email that uh, you've just been waiting for that last little bit, that feels like that's what is what's coming through with ISIS. And then we, our main sort of focus in a way is you guys, you, your heart space, um, some healing that needs to go on here, but also this opening that needs to, come back a trust which also comes into that root chakra element i want to put rose petals in your bath i want you to really take some time for yourself to relax to not feel guilty for taking time for yourself because that seems to be a common feeling that comes up for you guys pile one and then like rest is essential right now. And that's what I'm really drawn to in this card, looking after your body. So you may be feeling those energies of releasing the past, old hurts, old pain. These are the sort of things that come up here. And then what I get is, even though these things come up, we have Isis here who is helping you. She's helping you to release these things so that new things can come in because she's here to manifest. She is here to guide you into the darker depths of yourself, which isn't like, like the darker depths. It's not like that. This is just very much into those places that we have been ignoring, haven't been fully healing, have been trying to avoid and put off. This week feels like it's time to just take some some time for you to slow down, a gentle energy to love yourself, to care for yourself, to allow yourself to be guided from within rather than from people around you. There is a lesson this week of loving yourself as well, to put yourself first, to, to have space for you to, to rest um, without the guilt and it, that it's almost like you do that and it feels really empowering. You finally uh, understand what that means to put yourself first. That's what it feels like when this comes up for you. But then as you're sort of resting, it's like this happens for a reason because there's other things going on, which is Isis. Isis is bringing in other elements and her love is powerful. Her healing is also so powerful. So she will help you with your healing, but she will also bring in other elements that you are needing, that you've been waiting for. This feels like very much this week you for pile one. You have really been waiting for something. And if you've been waiting for a sign, this may be your sign. This may be what you have been waiting for to say, yes, I need to move on with this. Yes, it's time to let that go. Yes, this is that last little confirmation that I needed, I wanted and waited for. She's very connected with the universe as well. And that is all about inner connection and work to be able to connect with the universal energy in a deep understanding, knowing and really sort of um, loving way as well. It connects the, the heart and the womb here, which again, I feel connected here. So if you struggle with anything related in the feminine way, whether it's the, the womb space or being too gentle, not standing up for yourself, giving your power away, this is what I'm receiving here. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you taking a stand for yourself, embracing yourself, empowering yourself, and really bringing in that strength of Isis. So allow her to guide you this week. Allow her to show you the way. Allow yourself to find your voice and the answers from deep within yourself. So that is what I have for you guys this week. I hope this resonates. Please let me know in the comments below, and I hope to see you here next week. Welcome pile two to your weekly reading. Let's have a look what cards we have. We have Freya. We have Dreams. And we have The Sage. Beautiful energy coming in for you guys this week. Let's dive into this. Okay, my loves, this is looking quite 
oh, I feel quite excited. There's an excited energy that comes up, especially with these two. And then this one just brings in like a little bit of, I can't get the word caution, but without it being in a negative way, it just feels like awareness. Um, and also, do you know when it's like have caution instead of fear, rather than living in fear, you just have a bit of caution, just aware and awareness that comes up. She also um, here is, uh, phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. And that's what I'm getting. There's some illusions. And that again comes back to this element of fear um, that comes up here because we're working towards the dreams. Okay. So we have the dreams that I'm seeing here and you're you, there's a, a, a shift in your focus. There is something that's changing. It's that, and this change is good. It feels so good. These energies are so, they feel powerful. They feel so it, it almost enlightened in a way. It feels like there's a victory. It feels like um, things are being revealed or have been revealed maybe like last week and you're coming into something this week that is like, yes. Um, it just feels so exciting. These these colors of the oranges and pinky sort of colors to me are very much um, to do with uh, you embracing yourself, embracing your power. That's how I see these colors. I see them as you really trusting in yourself, following your truth. I feel it as your sort of emotions really sort of coming into alignment and balanced with what you're wanting in life and really feeling that going after what you're wanting. This is this energy here. This is so empowered, so strong, and it really does connect so deep within yourself. It's like this work that you've been putting in is totally paying off. It feels like, yes. And there's been a big shift in your mental um, mindset. It comes up here. You, you're understanding your worth. And that's what these colors remind me of. That's how I see them. That's how I embrace them. And that's what I'm being called to share with you because it's, yes, this is where you are. You're embracing this now. You're embracing your truth. You're embracing that you're worthy, that you are enough enough that you can go after everything that you want and it's no longer putting yourself behind others you start to believe that you are worthy that you are more than that you are equal equal to others and it's almost like you put yourself below others before so i'm seeing like you he here rather than down here you are putting yourself up here with other people knowing that you you are good enough that you do have everything that you need it's like it's like something's been revealed to you and it's just everything's fallen into place that's it's just clicked and it's like yes that's how i feel like it's just like such a like a buzzing energy like i just want to keep going nah, 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 nah. it's so exciting <laughs> that that's just how i'm feeling i can't help it these energies when they come they come um and then freya she brings this grounded energy in a way because of this is so exciting this is so up there this energy is like so fast moving, so energetic, but when there's that type of energy, sometimes we forget to ground, we forget to slow down and enjoy the moment and see all the other options that are there. Because sometimes we're moving too fast here that we miss other things. So Freya comes in as your support. That's how she feels today. She feels like she, she brings you in, reminding you that you can stop at any moment that you can take some time out to rest if you need to. And she reminds you that any obstacles that you may come up against this week as you're moving forwards is there for a reason, okay? So you, these sort of obstacles are here for you to understand that they're a reminder that no matter what you've been through, you can always overcome things. She reminds you of that. Everything is a phase, everything is a cycle and everything is needed and you can call on the magic within yourself here as well from Freya. Freya I always see as this very sort of uh, witch energy of being able to help you, guide you but also that sort of alchemical feeling where she can help you to transform to bring about anything that you are needing, reminding you that you have it within you and you combine it with other elements that you have or knowledge that you have to create something completely different and new. Um, 
your motivation feels so good this week pal too it feels so good it feels enlightened it feels like you are more devoted it feels as like there's a commitment a focus it is all starting to reveal itself to you this this week and this week is just abundant it feels so abundant for you but remember to ground remember to take some time out as well so that you're not just focused on one thing because when we go after our dreams we can get a bit tunnel visioned and we can forget that there's other things in life that there's other things going on so Freya just reminds you as well just to to come back down to earth to come back into the now and to also I get like friends as well so friends family that element that um it's about making sure you're spending time with them, not blowing anybody off, making sure you're kind of carving out some time for other people because this isn't going anywhere. It's still going to be there. By focusing on this, it's not going to get you there any quicker, I feel like. It feels like this will happen in its own time, at its own pace. Yes, you put in the work. Yes, you're going for your dreams. But at the same time, it's important for this time here with other people. Because if you're saying no to seeing somebody, it's almost like you're saying no to yourself. You're saying no to your heart, your joy, your creativity, um, which you need. You This like fuel. This, this is like your fuel here for what you're going after. Whereas if you're going after this all the time, it can drain you, it can pull you down, it can get rid of your energy a lot quicker because you're not refueling. Whereas when you bring in other people, you bring these people into your life to fill you, to make you laugh, to bring in that joy and happiness. This is gonna be fueled with so much more love compassion, commitment, that focus and devotion and that motivation is going to be there more because you are you, the dedication is there. Motivation can drift. Motivation is, is there and then it disappears. Whereas dedication is how motivation stays. That is motivation, is your dedication. So that's what I get here for you guys this week. It just feels wonderful. I also kind of want to say some yoga as well for you guys, um, if you feel cool to for some of you. And it just feels like a beautiful, beautiful energy for you guys this week. So I hope you enjoy this week. I hope this resonates. Please let me know in the comments below and have a wonderful week. Welcome pile three to your weekly reading. Let's have a look what we have for you. You have the Miriam, I think. Um, you have Turbulence. And you also have the Water Guardian. So this feels quite interesting. All these piles this week are very interesting, very different energies and yours is no different. So let's dive in. So first of all, I'm really drawn to this turbulence card. You might have a little bit of a rocky week pile three, but I don't feel like it's in a terrible way, okay? So don't start going, ah, before we've even got anywhere. This just feels like something is kind of being let go, being released. Something is being kind of, I feel for some of you, something is gonna come to light. Something, it could be about a situation, a person, a family member, where something is gonna come up and it's like something has been niggling at you guys. Pile three, I feel like you guys have had some sort of, like you, you had that niggling feeling that maybe somebody wasn't maybe telling you the full truth or um, something was going on that you kind of knew. It feels like there's something within you and this could be a situation, it could be something to do with a project that you're working on and it's maybe something just doesn't feel fully right. That's what I get here and it feels like something is going to be revealed this week that is like, oh yes, I knew it. I knew it was there. And it's almost good in a way because it feels like one, a confirmation that your intuition is so on point. And two, it feels like it's it's okay because you can still, um, it's like, it's almost like you can overcome this still. It doesn't feel like it is going to be something that is like life changing. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like something has been under the surface. That's what it is, which is where I'm getting this water energy as well. It's like something has been under the surface. You haven't been able to see it fully. 
Um, it, it's like it's been kind of clouded for a, uh, for a while, but you've known it was there. And this week, it's like you finally feel and see what it was that you were missing before. So really connect into your emotions. This is what the Water Guardian is here for. So she will help you guide, guide you into your emotions because it feels like this is going to bring up emotions. OK, so I always give it as I see it, as I feel it. And that's what I get. It's going to bring up some, it may be an emotional week um, or it may be just an emotional day that catches you a bit off guard because somebody has revealed some truth to you or a situation has come to light and it feels like, it's a good thing. It does. It feels like this is a good thing. This feels like this was needed. It's like the tower card. It's like something gets kind of blown up. It's unexpected. Something kind of shakes the ground and it may catch you really off guard. But ultimately, it feels like, thank God. That's, that's the feeling that I get here. I feel like, thank God, because it means that you can start afresh, you can build in a new direction. It's almost like you kind of wanted it in a way. There's something for some of you, it's almost like you needed this to happen because it means it gives you freedom of choice of how you move forwards. Um, because it feels like you were a bit in a bind before, whereas this is like, yes, it's almost like it's like a weight lifted as well and you can breathe again. So like I say, it feels good, even though it's it, it doesn't always seem good, but it feels like it's, it's needed. So when you're in amongst those emotions and you're going through it and you're feeling it, just try your best to remind yourself that everything happens for a reason. There's a reason behind it. This has come to you because it was needed. Um, this sort of like negative energy in a way has been building for a while but you know just like just like a storm when you have the thunder and the lightning after it feels like a massive clearing you'll see things clearly you're going to understand things better your emotions are going to come back into balance eventually it may not be straight away it may be a bit of a roller coaster emotionally for this week um, but it just feels like it just feels like you're kind of being asked to trust in the process and it will pass all of this will pass so when you're stuck in those moments remind yourself that it will pass it always passes eventually um and that it, it's there's a reason there is a reason behind it even though it may not seem like it at the time it just feels like it is it just feels like it is for your benefit this is for your benefit in the long run and as we come into this, we have the sacred vision that comes up and it says, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. And this is what I'm getting. So whatever it is that is coming up this week, what, however it affects you in whatever direction it comes to you, like I say, situation, person, family, uh, projects, whatever it is for you, know that you are there's so much sort of um, support, I feel like, whether this is in this world or spiritually, the support behind you is great. There is this sort of these lilies coming up is like, yes, this is this sort of rebirth, I feel like. And the roses behind them is so much about this love and this hope. And it's almost like it's bringing back some hope. So even though you may feel like you may be maybe losing some hope or something just feels like, oh, it's so frustrating. This is saying no. Remember to see the light in all and to remember that love has no boundaries. So this is saying that no matter what goes on, you can find love in, in there for yourself so that you're not taking on any sort of negative emotions, any sort of judgment, any of those sort of negative, uh, heavier frequencies of emotions to not allow them to get stuck within your body. So this is why the, they come through with this sacred vision and they help you to heal because they don't want you to allow this to be stored within your body because that's what happens in life is when things happen and they're not dealt with or fully resolved and love hasn't been sort of put into that situation, it gets stored within the body, it gets stored within you and eventually it may come out in symptoms of some sort so this is why we are healing at the same time this is why we have this connection with our emotions 
don't bury any of this. It's about feeling everything that comes up for you, feeling it all this week. So it may be a hard week, but it is going to be a releasing week at the same time. It's going to bring such clarity. So much clarity is going to come to you. I just feel like this is a fresh start, a new beginning. There is this, again, this rebirth comes up here that I, I want to remind you of. It feels like you're kind of connecting with your inner self more, understanding yourself and what you're wanting. So even though it may be a bit of an, an easy week, it may be a bit uncomfortable, I really want you to take from this that it is exactly what you need. It is going to empower you. It is going to show you the path of your truth. It's going to help you find a connection back into your emotions to find a way of dealing with emotions that may have been trapped. It is going to bring this sort of epiphany, a clarity, a clearing. And again, it feels like you have been waiting for this, wanting for something to happen so you can move forward. And this is what I feel it is for you this week. So really allow it to play out in the way that it needs to and keep remembering it will pass. There is not going to be forever this feeling it and the more that you surrender into it the easier and faster you will overcome it as well it's when we start to fight and we start to have internal conversations um that we start to change that energy and start to harbor it and hold on to it and stuff it down into that little black box um, which is why you have the water guardian coming in for you this week she is really going to help guide you through this process and the Miriam is here to help you to heal through this process to see the clarity in things help you shine a light in onto everything that you are needing to see to bring that clarity that has kind of been eluding you for a while and to remind you that love can be found in all situations and to allow that love in for yourself this week to help you to heal because love heals all and that unconditional love within yourself bring that up to the surface because this will be your sort of anchor for the week this healing I would also want to say kind of buy yourself some roses I feel like I want to put roses in your houses guys I want you to see the beauty all around you to really see the things you've been missing recently um so just really allow that to, to step into your world into your life and embrace yourself um and I and I want to hug you as well like I want to give you a hug so just allow people to be there for you to hug you and and it might be as silly as you just wake up one day with this weird feeling you have a really emotional day and you don't know where it comes from but it's a healing they are bringing this healing for you for a reason you don't have to know what it is all the time you just may feel like you've been caught off guard like where's this coming from what is this um and it just feels like just embrace that, allow that to be, don't fight it. If you need to cry, cry, let it all out. It's there for a reason um, it's, and it's a clearing. It's a clearing for new stuff to be able to come in. And at the minute, the way that it is, your frequency is wanting to change and this is the way for that to happen. So that is what I have for you guys this week. I hope this resonates and I hope to see you here next week.